Here in this video, we are solving a problem basing on electricity as well as the surface tension. So we will explain the concepts of electricity also and then we will use it in this uh, problem. Right? Let me read out the problem for you first of all. An isolated, that means there is no charges that have influence from outside and a charged spherical soap bubble has a radius r and the pressure inside it is due to atmosphere itself. If T is the surface tension of the soap solution, then the charge on the drop is. That's what the question is, right? So, first of all, there is two pressures acting in that charge drop. So, if this is the charge drop, the charge drop is having some radius R. There is a charge Q inside it because of which there is some electric intensity developed. Because of that, there will be some electric pressure developed. So, how much is that electric pressure developed? Let me try, first try to find out. So, before doing that, let me tell you, let me explain to you that what I am going to do finally is there is some excess pressure due to electric intensity and there is some excess pressure due to the surface tension. These two pressures are equal, then the bubble is balanced. So, once if I calculate both these pressures, I can equate them. And I can find out the charge acting on the charge developed on that soap bubble, right? So my aim is to calculate the excess pressure in in a bubble due to electric charge first, and then we know the formula for the surface tension. What is that? Uh, excess pressure due to the soap in the soap bubble to the surface tension is 4t divided by r, where r is the radius of the bubble, t is the surface tension. So this term is already known to us. We know it. The unknown term is this excess pressure developed in the bubble due to electric intensity. That let me try to find out. So, what's the formula for the excess pressure is electric force by area. I know the area of the soap bubble is 4 pi r square. So, the thing that I need to calculate is what is the force developed in that spherical uh, soap bubble due to the charge that's the point that i want to calculate once if i know this force so my aim is now boiled down to calculating the force due to the electric charge once if i know the force i can substitute in this equation and i can solve the problem so let me try to calculate what is that force is i can do that by first talking about electric intensity we know the formula for the electric intensity as it is defined as the force acting on a unit positive charge placed in electric field so its value is 4 pi epsilon naught q by r square so if i go for the definition of that it is the force experienced by a unit positive charge when it is placed in a electric field its electric intensity so i can write this electric intensity as small charge if I have kept there will be a small force experienced by it so I can write df by dq from that I can write df is equal to e dq this is the small force when a small charge is placed in electric field I want the total value then I shall integrate this equation integral of df equal to integral of e dq integration of differentiation of force is force itself integral of e in the place of e I will ask for the basic definition of electric intensity is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r square and dq as per the definition itself. I have written that. Now, this f value is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught 1 by r square integral of q dq. Integrating this equation will give us something like f is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught 1 by r square. This is q power 1 dq. We have a formula in integration that is integral of x power n dx as you know is x power n plus 1 by n plus 1. That is now say integral of q power 1 dq that is q power of 1 plus 1 by 1 plus 1 that is q square by 2. So this part of integration will give an answer of q square by 2. So the value of the force that we have calculated as 
q square in the numerator by 2 into 4 8 by epsilon naught by r square that's the force that we have calculated so if you come back to the part of the problem we have calculated this once if i calculated the force now i want to extend this discussion and find out the pressure in that uh, so bubble due to the excess charge so pressure can be written like as i said force by area force is this much q square by 8 by epsilon naught r square area is in the place of area i shall write 4 pi r square so when you simplify this pressure becomes q square by 8 into 4 is 32 pi and pi is pi square epsilon naught r square and r square is r power of 4 i know the pressure now if you look into the equation this left side equation i know the entire value this pressure value i know this excess pressure due to the surface tension also i know i can just equate them and we'll get to the answer yes so let's conclude as p due to the electric is that is due to the charge is due p due to the surface tension p due to the electric just now we have calculated here as q square by 32 pi square epsilon naught r power 4 excess pressure due to the surface tension is 40 divided by r as you want charge in this equation let me write q square one side and all other terms on the other side that is 40 by r take this all this to the other side 32 pi square epsilon naught r power 4 that is q square and you want to calculate the value of the q in this equation there is of course one r that can be calculated r cube will be remaining so q will be everything has to be kept under square root 40 32 pi square epsilon naught r cube so if i have to calculate this value how much is this q is 32 into 4 out of this 4 i will take 1 2 that is 32 into 2 i can rearrange the terms 2 e this 2 i will write here 32 into 2 64 pi square epsilon naught r cube so if i simplify this equation i will get square root of 64 is 8 i can write it outside the root instead of pi square i can write 1 pi out of the root in r cube i can get r square out of the root and get as r so what's remaining then 2t is remaining 64 came out pi square came out epsilon naught will be here out of r cube i have taken only r square out of the square root so one r is already remaining so what's your answer is 8 by r under square root of 2t epsilon naught and r that's the answer to solve this that's how we need to solve this problem so the simple concept that we have used is the excess pressures inside the soap bubble due to the surface tension is equated to the excess pressure generated due to the charge that's it thank you thank you for listening